this is quite a broad thing to say, but there's, there's a lot of boldness. Um, there's a lot of like big, brave kind of like slabs of things that have been slammed down on on the paper or on the screen or something, which is which is really really good to see. I think that that's that's really interesting from th thing for me to see these like big bold moves. I think I can really see a big influence from a previous Dean AD winner, which is you know Dumb Ways to Die. I mean, it's a fantastic piece of work and it's very influential. But for me personally, I'd like to see more you know kind of unique artwork within websites being used or within interactive stuff. A lot of it is very vector style graphic illustration, which looks very good on screen. But I think I think there's room for something a bit more innovative there. Well, the stuff that I've seen that I've been some great posters actually that have been entered this year. Some really good poster art and I don't remember seeing too much of that before, especially on, on, this, on that kind of quite big scale. It seems more international. Sure, I think it seems like people are entering from all over the world. I'm actually just just whilst we're chatting now, I'm halfway through the photography um, section, which I think is really, really strong. There's some really, really nice stuff in there. Um, some of the poster design work as well was really, really good. Um, there are a few things in particular that I would hope um, can go on to win a pencil because I think there were, there were some there was some really, really great work in there. Um, again, you know whether that's something to do with like scale and nothing of like boldness. You know, you've got the space to to allow your creative to sort of like be nice and big and strong on a on a, you know, on a big scale. But it's um, so there's some really really nice stuff in there. I think sometimes people seem to what's the right word to say to take like an easy easy way out to, to a problem. Um, you sort of like I, especially when I'm looking at the, the context of it. So I'm looking at the brief. And I can see how that brief's been answered, and I kind of like can't help but sort of read that little brief myself and think, oh, I think might have just been able to go like a little bit more. So some of the stuff that I've not felt as passionate about, it's mainly because it sort of feels like it's 80% there or 75% of the way there, but it just feels like there's a little bit more to give. And I think that's where that's the value of something like a yellow pencil, where it is. You know, I, I was at university and that was like the holy grail when I was at university and, and now actually like being part of the process, like you really understand why because you have to go that extra mile and, and th I think that's the thing for me, it's just that the, the ones that haven't quite made the grade are the ones that just didn't go quite far enough. I kind of put on my teacher head like when I used to be, a, I used to teach quite a lot and I try not to put my personal opinion in a sense or, or personal preferences. There's quite often work that's not really not my cup of tea, but I can really see, the, say, the technical ability in there, and I can really see that it's absolutely hit the mark for what it was asked to do. And I try to put that kind of that kind of head on when I'm looking at work. It's be as objective as possible, be as open as possible. I try to be as generous as possible because there is a tendency to not be impressed by very much, and that's just the nature. We, especially in London, I think we're very used to seeing a very high quality of work all the time. Very hard to impress us. Very, we're quite cynical, you know. As everything's a bit rubbish before it's good, and so I, I try to not think like that when I'm judging. I try to be much more open. There's some good guidelines from DNA D. You know, is it innovative? Is it is it is it doing what it's asked to do? Is it, is it you know does it bring a smile to your face? All those things. Is it doing what it's is it fulfilling its its job in a way? And is it doing it in in a, a unique innovative way? Things need to say like a little bit more than just sort of like shout out and pop and, and be, be beautiful. They need to sort of like have that reason as well. They, have, they need to have the reason to, to, to exist. So I think the backstory is really important for me. So when, when, when I'm judging today, I'm sort of like really carefully looking at like the brief and I'm looking at how they answered that brief and then how it was executed. So I think that whole thing is like, for, for, for me personally, like a very important thing.